Thanks for tuning in. I'm Cody with Up to Code. Today we're prepping for a vinyl deck. So this video is important. It'll tell you what to think of, how to plan ahead. You got to do this step before your siding. And then specifically, I'll show you how to prep for an ICF house. There's a lot of information jammed into this short video. Like I said before, you have to make sure to do your vinyl decking before you do any sort of siding. And you'll see why. Super important. Watershed and detailing is always key and I'm a stickler on that. I'm not, I don't know it all, I'm still learning the details. But you know, I think when you follow through the video, you'll see that I'm doing an okay job, at least I'm trying to be mindful and thinking ahead. So what we're looking at today is the breezeway from a house to a detached garage. So you can see we have a little bit of a curb or a step there. And same thing over here, we have an inch and a quarter step. Typically, the vinyl deck guys want to go two to three inches drop down. Our customer didn't want that big of a step. It is better to stop water from trying to infiltrate from the through the bottom sill of your doors. But the customer just wanted that minimal step difference. So we dropped it down an inch and a quarter. I wish we would have done a little bit more. These are things that I'm learning along as I go is the guys are going to want fur plywood to adhere to. So normally I would have dropped this two or three inches, whatever it ends up being, and then allowed for another three quarter inch fur decking on top of that. But we just weren't planning ahead quite enough. So today on my prep work for the IC, if it actually works out pretty good, I'll just be using quarter inch for good one side, and that'll be good for the, the vinyl deck guy. One thing to keep in mind, this isn't Dura Deck. This is actually called Deck Tech. And Deck Tech is, was designed for commercial roofs. It's actually has like a 10 year or a 20 year warranty. It's a far better product in my mind or in my opinion. But anyway, let's get into it. We, we're gonna have only one inch of gap difference. So what's gonna happen is after our prep done today, the vinyl deck is gonna come up and we'll show you after we get done. It's gonna come over, fold up and then into the, the actual jam or the sill of the door. We have to have all this done before siding and we have to have it done before our door. And that way, when we put the door in, we'll silicone the living bejesus out of this and slam the door in. But now with the new energy code, a lot of the doors will have, and before they never had a bottom flange. So water, especially in the winter, snow builds up and then it starts to slowly melt and it'll just wick into the house. But now the new doors have a flange, like a window. So now this flange will sit up against there and we should be protected against water. Plus we're a covered breezeway. There'll be minimal snow or water in here, but you know, it's good to just think ahead. This is how we do the prep for an ICF. I just get these pieces of metal made. So what we'll do, exactly how it's shown. I bend these at 85 degrees. So they're, they're spread open a little bit. And that way when I tuck it tight into the inside corner, it holds tight against the wall. This has a hem on it. I'll show you on a piece that's not installed yet. And then I just shingle nail into the snap ties. I had to bend around the corner here just because I didn't have anything attached to here. So I just pushed in tight, nailed it there. I don't need very many for now. Once I go around and finish all those, then we'll do quarter inch plywood. And because it's quarter inch, we'll glue the living out of it staple it that'll cover the metal and then when the vinyl deck guys come in they can actually wrap up this wall and onto the metal and that's how we prep for our icf over here we'll show you this in a minute i want to get the flashing on but we did some detail work we did our building paper with some peel and stick on top just to protect the inside corner but we'll show you how the rest of this goes i pre-cut this piece It has the hem at the top. I like doing that just so it's a little more rigid. It doesn't buckle as easily. So this piece here is 5 8 plywood. And then this is later, but they'll put a drip cap that goes down two inches. This plywood is only 7 8 tall. And that way they can set their drip cap to that edge. And then later when we do our siding, we can tuck up under his drip cap. Here, my building paper and my peel and stick are behind this. 
and I'm just trying to think about all my watershed. And I'll show you that after. So this cut piece will just go flush to this plywood. And like you see how I, I have to kind of force it into the inside corner, that's what I want. So I'll just tack this on. The reason I don't send these bottom ones home is just I want to make sure I don't have any ripples or oil canning. So you can see how I prepared this piece of paper and peel and stick here. And this is what it looks like all attached. I didn't do the greatest job because of the silly safety hand railing that's in my way. Jeez. <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is like I said, he'll have a drip cap that comes here and bends that way. And then his vinyl deck will, obviously we'll have our quarter inch plywood down and then his vinyl deck will wrap up this and over. But the point of all of this is so that later we can tuck paper underneath this. The peel and stick protects this inside corner if water ever does try to trickle back. And then later they can paper over top of this metal and then everything's watershed and that's the most important thing but probably the, the detail that gets missed the most is this inside corner because everyone's like oh just whatever no one thinks about it but that's where water will trickle down and get into your building this you might be able to visualize better so this is that 5 8 plywood i was talking about 7 8 tall their drip cap's gonna come over and it's gonna come down two inches. So that, what I like about that is all my detail work is this two inch drip cap's gonna sit like that. We've allowed for siding to tuck in underneath. We've protected our inside corner. We got all this happening, same as the other side. I'm just gonna flush this to my rough opening here. Hey, Brett, Brett, yeah. we're going to chalk out a four foot line, brother. Hold me down there. That's Brett. He's a first year apprentice. He's not allowed to stand beside me. He's too damn tall. Friggin' guy. Whoa, whoa. Fucking Brett. Oh. Okay, Brett, set it on the line, brother. Okay, then we're just gonna let it gently. You can let it go. Okay, grab that stapler, man. You got lots of bullets on you? Yeah, and then now just hold the trigger and then just. Oh. So you get the idea now. Like I said before, be nice to have a little more height there. 
the customer wanted it a nice sleek transition. We'll come back after all the vinyl's on and we'll show you what all the details look like. Right now, I have to get prepared. I gotta keep this nice and dry now. So I'm actually gonna hang some tarps off of this fascia. Luckily, none of this is finished. Drape this down, this is the west side because we gotta keep this really dry for two days before the, the vinyl deck guys show up. But we'll show you some more stuff as we roll. All right, we let the vinyl guys do their business. Here's the deck all finished. Here's the two corner details that I described earlier. Just note that the peel and stick that's on the top there, that's just an extra protection. We didn't know how long it was gonna be before the siding guy arrived. We just didn't want water getting in behind that metal flashing. Here's what the sill of the small door looked like beforehand. And we just did our prep work and we got that door installed, leveled in and working really well. This big door was a little more fun. We actually pre-planned, we took and looked at the sill of the door and there's grooves in the wood. So we chalked out lines to match where the wood would contact the sill and the vinyl decking. So, so basically, so the silicone made contact. So we just did our prep work had the door ready, did our silicone, and then the four of us did some grunt lifting and got the door into place, just to be careful not to slide all that silicone out of the way, so we had to have it off the ground. But anyway, we got that door in and it all looks good. The door functions really well, it looks awesome. That brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that gives you guys an idea of how to prep a vinyl deck on an ICF house. Thanks for watching.